A local man in critical condition after crossing paths with a wanted man on the run in the middle of a wild police chase through Southern Oregon. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC 5 News at 6. I'm Craig Small. And I'm Kristen Husfeld. Police say the suspect opened fire on both police and civilian vehicles on I-5 Saturday. One bullet even hit a child's car seat. Thankfully, the boy wasn't hurt. But the man who was shot Saturday is in critical condition right now. NBC 5's Ray Van Vara spoke to neighbors of the victims. He joins us live in studio with the story. Ray Van? Craig, Kristen, neighbors tell me they're shocked something like this could happen in their quiet neighborhood. Tonight, they're just hoping their friend pulls through. We'd heard bits and pieces, but we we'll just try to piece it together. Grants Pass resident Jeremy Matlock says his neighbor was on his way home when he crossed paths with a man on the run from police. They were just coming back, uh, back home at the end of the day and were checking their mailbox. And I believe that's when the perpetrator came up to them and uh, tried to steal their car. Police say 30 year old New Mexico man Matthew Finelli shot Matlock's neighbor four times, then attacked the female passenger. The DA's office says Finelli pistol whipped and pepper sprayed her. I saw her this morning. She was on the way to uh, the hospital. He's going through surgery as we speak. So obviously the whole neighborhood's a little shaken up. But Finelli's efforts to steal their car failed. He reportedly couldn't find the keys and later surrendered to police. Police were able to corner him on River Rings Road. Finelli appeared in Josephine County Court Monday where he faces 19 charges, including attempted aggravated murder. But that's just a small portion of his alleged crimes, according to Oregon State Police. The states of Colorado. The shooting victim is in critical but stable condition. Fennelli's bail was set at $5 million. He's scheduled to appear in court again on March 4th. Live in studio, Ray Van Vars, NBC5 News.